You, yeah. you pray. And then they'll try to discourage you. I'm not saying take on everything, but don't let the enemy try to discourage you from, uh, from taking on a, a menial task and greater task. You are equipped to do it. If God has raised you up to a supervisor or a manager, don't be scared of them positions. I heard that. You need some of them positions. How you gonna be able to live a good life? How you gonna be able to, to be able to be a blessing to people when God has given you the mindset and the ingenuity to do these things and you need resources? He gave you the mind to be able to work on your job. He gave you the mind to have a career. He gave you the mind to open up that business. You ain't just, just wondering it. You ain't just wake up one day. God put it in you. Just like we just ran in Jeremiah. He said, For you were formed in your mama womb. I knew you and ordained you. I had a plan. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I just put it in your mind. Yeah, God. At the time, I thought you were mature enough for it to be birthed out. Yes. For it to be revealed yes. in its time. Like the Bible said, when the fullness of time come, when the fullness of time come in our life, then that's why something we've been sitting on God said, okay, now it's time. Yes. Now it's time. And we can't keep procrastinating. We can't keep waiting around. We can't keep squandering. We have to be about God's business. Yes. A lot of people want biblical results without reading the Bible. My God. A lot of people want biblical results when I read the Bible. All we want to do is pray and worship. And then when the word comes, everybody on the phone, everybody quiet, everybody busy. Now everybody got to go to the bathroom. But when it's worship time, raise your hand, open your mouth, do this, clap your hand. When it's word time, oh, now we're busy. When it's over time, now it's an exodus. Help somebody. Help somebody. Have real words. You can't fool God. You can't fool God. See, we think like gimmicks and, and, and wearing football jerseys. I'm not against none of it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm on YouTube too. I'm not against none of it. But what I'm saying is, well, what about some of the stuff we, we came up with? They didn't have to do a whole lot. One Jesus, the same Jesus. And I, I know some things we're adopting. There's no wrong with it. No harm, no foul. But we, we, I, I don't think I have to just get as low and low and low as the world and do every dot for dot thing as the world from their perspective, from their mentality, just to win the world. No, the church should be conformed, should be changing the culture. The culture should be changing the church. That's right. Yeah. Amen. We ain't watching no NBA uh, fighters in the house of God. Not in this church. We ain't watching no, no football game. Not in this church. This not a place for recreation. They eat chips and chicken wings and, and pizza and almonds and cashews. So we watching the NFL Super Bowl. Not here. <laughs> Let's come to your house and watch the Super Bowl. And I hope your TV fit it up. So we ain't stand around up in a campfire. God said, I know the plan. Amen. I have a, before God will bring before God will begin to reveal his will in you, you must be committed to doing whatever that is his desire for you to do. Yeah. You have to be committed. So you got so many people that are committed. That you got so many people committed to bylaws. I think Bishop was talking about that earlier in Christian education. They committed to bylaws and covenants and, and all of these beautiful things. We're going to say that sound good. And you know, ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm not that preaching against that. I mean, if you have a certain saying, and I see people say it, and sometimes they just say stuff, and it sounds good. And, and this is my Bible, and this is my oil, and, and all I'm going to do is pray. And, and, uh, and that just sounds pretty, but uh, come on, somebody. But if if it don't have no real substance, it don't mean none of you. All you're doing is just learning something because it has been just given to you verbatim. That's right. So all you're doing is for the same. Yeah. And we, I'm so glad that what would Jesus do? Bubble sticks played out. I'm so glad the t-shirts went out. Why? Because it ain't what would Jesus do. You want to know what would Jesus would do? Read then the get in the book. Read the word. Read the word. What would Jesus do? Watch me. What would Jesus do? Visit the sick. Well, okay, you want to know what Jesus would do? Let's see what Jesus would do. Mm. What would you do? Amen. We bring this to mm. Don't let fear of an uncertain future. And it is our opportunity to walk with God. Yeah. As we do, God gives us grace at the moment we need it. But 
as we let fear, we're afraid. Mm -hmm. We're afraid of stepping out. Mm -hmm. But again, if you want more, you got to give more. Yeah. The power is full of principle. Life has principle. You know, I say this all the time, and it's true. This, this is a very common principle. You want to lose weight, stop eating all fat products. It's just that simple. Amen. It's just that it ain't no, 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 no uh, arithmetic, scientific problem to it. If, if, you, if you want more, then you have to apply yourself more. Amen. But you can't keep robbing Peter to pay Paul and expect a different outcome. Amen. You want a house? You got to get a job. You got to get a career. You got to get your own business. You got to get something that's going to generate some funds to be able to pay the past. It's just not going to be out of You're just not going to walk and lay hands on somebody else's house and it just won't come to pass. It just doesn't work that way. That is so true. Just like I hold a lot of things to a high standard. Amen. Anytime I take on a job, I tell I was tell them, I'm a person of integrity and I have a high work ethic. So when my eval come, I'm expecting the highest pay raise I can receive. Amen. No, I tell them that. I said, because don't worry about me. Now you you're gonna be looking for what I'm saying, and you should, by all means. But I'm telling you in advance. I work from a high work ethic and I expect the highest possible raise or evaluation that I can receive. Yes, I'm telling you that the same thing with God. God has already told me the word. David, if you do this, if you serve me, if you pray, if you be sincere about your walk with God, blessings shall come upon you. And blessings shall come upon you. He said, you're going to run into the children of Israel in the second law. He said it. That was God. I said, I didn't make this up. God said it. And we do this lesson so it shall come to pass. And the reason why something we don't see come to pass because we want to ride rough shot on the manual. We want to pull out the certain scripture that apply to somebody else. But what about the other six six chapters that apply to you? All right, now. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. We can always find a scripture on somebody. See, that's what I was saying about Sister Sawson right here. It said in Proverbs, he who mocks the poor. But yeah, what about? That talks about giving. What the other scripture talks about forgiveness, but you still holding on grudges. Yeah. Amen. That's somebody. But then you want to stand there and say, Lord, forgive me. But you don't want to forgive yeah. nobody else. How you going to ask for forgiveness? Right. But you want to extend forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can't play yet, God. Yeah. Oh my God, my God. Just because the situation didn't work out the way you wanted to work out, then that don't mean your attitude should change. And when I start seeing a change attitude in a so called the Bible did. Yes. That's why the other scripture in 1 John 3, where he talks about love. Mm. He said, if, if love is what it's, it, it is, then he said, you'll, you'll know them by love, by how they have love one for another. Yeah, yeah. That's what the scripture says. But he said, if you hate your brother, you abide in death. Mm. See, a lot of people they don't want to deal with that, that post of scripture. And he said, if you abide, you abide in death still, that's a chance you might not even be saved. Amen. Because you can't walk around with hate. Amen. Hate is equivalent to murder. Murder is to act. One is the intended to act, but haven't acted yet. Amen. Hate is equivalent to murder. And you got some people hate other people based on what they did in some time in the past, and they're still holding the grudge. That's right. And they walk around. You got to pray for these pray people. Of God. Yes. You got to pray for them. Why? Because this is serious. And you got a lot of people going to be standing before God, mm -hmm. thinking they're going to be getting in. And they walk around with hate and envy and strife. So we love to deal with sins you can smell, sins mm -hmm. you can taste, and all the other ones sin that you can, you can see from the outside. And then you ought to stop smoking cigarettes, and you ought to stop drinking. Well, you ought to stop 